San Francisco's Mission District, a hotbed of Hispanic culture and proud locals. But its historically gritty complexion is changing fast. Young, well-paid workers, fueled by the technology boom, are flooding into the area. Employees of Silicon Valley tech giants board Wi-Fi equipped buses laid on to ferry them to work 30 miles south. But these corporate shuttles, illegally using public bus stops, have now become a target for protest, a lightning rod for what locals say is gentrification by an entitled elite. Even the famous mission murals, which used to depict culture hundreds of miles away, are evolving. Today, they paint a very different picture of far more pressing issues right here in the city. Tom Rapp and Patricia Kerman have been roommates for 15 years. Now, amid skyrocketing rents, the pair are being thrown out of their mission flat. They say it amounts to class warfare. We're being evicted because a lot of moneyed people from Silicon Valley want to live in San Francisco, and uh, my landlords found a, a loophole through rent control, and we're being pushed out. This is happening all over the city. It's an epidemic. It's just changing the soul of the city. But business representatives say the tech community is being made a scapegoat, a soft target for complicated issues. The people who work for these companies, they tend to be young, they like to ride their bicycles. Uh, they're part of a new wave of workers who actually want to work in a positive environment and actually uh, attend to social issues. And yet the philanthropic billionaire running the city's largest tech employer says his peers have been stingy and understands local frustration. To somebody who's facing eviction, to somebody who sees a, a bus rolling by, to somebody who sees some kind of disruptive behavior caused by this, I think the message is very simple. You need to let our government know and our technology leaders that they need to do more. Not just taking from San Francisco, but giving back to it. The tech companies have now agreed to new bus regulations, but the wider culture clash runs deep. This historically tolerant city now struggling with its newfound identity.